So good morning, 18 minutes to nine is the time. Let's dive into the news to take a look at one or two stories you might not have heard about. So uh, Beth, would you like to kick us off? Well, this is one talking about the police going above and beyond, okay? There was a McDonald's takeaway which was being delivered to a customer after the courier's car was seized. So officers pulled over this vehicle in Nottinghamshire. They found the driver didn't have the correct level of insurance cover, so the car was seized and uh, he wasn't able to continue with his job. But apparently the force said, it's safe to say the customer still received their Big Mac and fries in time, thanks to our officers, who safely dropped off their Mackies to the door. They were simply McLovin' it. Oh, oh. yes, very good. <laughs> I think that's great, because actually, do you know what, if I came across a McDonald's just sort of lurking there and you sort of think to yourself, well, obviously it's just going begging, it. I'd, I'd yeah. have tucked in, <laughs> yeah. I have to say. So fair dues to them, because, you know, when we come off air here at half nine, we're starving, aren't we? Oh, so. I tell you, if we could, yeah, some sort of delivery here would be very welcome. It would, wouldn't it? Um, Rianne, yeah, if you left a sort of Mackie D's or something sort of lying around some food anywhere and we thought, oh, she's forgotten about it. Is I'd, this a hint? Well, yeah, well it do, might be. Do, do if know, I'm yeah. not on the nine o'clock news, you know where I am. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We'd be in like a shot. So what have you got for us this morning? Um, I am getting some ski news into, into today's Have You Heard. So basically, uh, for those who want to improve their skiing but don't want to spend all their spare time and money in ski school, there's now a new toy on the slopes aiming to revolutionise current industry ski coach offerings. So basically... Carve is a simple digital setup you put in your ski boots and it has 48 different pressure points. And then uh, via Bluetooth, it gives you ski instruction through your headphones whilst you're on the slopes and you can set it to instructor mode. So it gives you advice after every turn or quiet mode. So it gives you like a rundown of feedback at the end of your session. Do you know what? The only thing it'd be saying to me is stand up. (laughs) (laughs) Do better. (laughs) Have you have you ever attempted this? Yes. And how did you do? Okay, okay, shall we move on? Uh, well, well, Rianne, of course, you're a bit of a, an expert in this field, aren't you? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no, I think you're, you're really good. When did you start? It was, Is it skiing um, or snowboarding that you did? Uh, both, primarily snowboarding, but I started when I got a job at Chill Factor in 2012, and then, like, to my mother's delight, I was like, screw my degree, I'm going to be a snowboard instructor. <laughs> so then I was a snowboard instructor for about six years. Wow. So this would put me out of a job, actually. Actually, yes, this is it. So <laughs> this maybe is just, not good news, actually. Uh, do you know, it's something I would love to do, but I know I'd be terrible because my coordination is awful and I, I would end up breaking my leg oh, or I'll something. I'll teach you, Ben. I'll make you good. I mean, how we'll did snow fell? Well, there we go. I mean, it's given wintry showers. Hasn't well, it? there you <laughs> go. You know. um, how easy is it to do, though? Seriously, is it? Um, skiing is easier to pick up than snowboarding, but snowboarding is easier to progress in once you've got the basics right so yeah we did go skiing a couple of years ago and the embarrassing thing was i was in ski school with all the children <laughs> they, they can be so demoralizing can't they because they have no fear kids. absolutely no fear yeah. whatsoever i just wanted to take my skis off and just stick to the afro ski i think i'm much more suited to that, that. is a good part yeah. see i would love to go to snowier climbs and just sort of yeah sit there with with with, with some food in front yeah, of me or something yeah. like that maybe a little breakfast jamboree to switzerland is in order to just find out yes. um the oscars i'm talking about this morning of course well and truly in the news overnight uh, sunday into yesterday uh, but the ceremony failed to draw blockbuster tv audiences in the u.s a record low of 23.6 million tuned in for the awards ceremony 20 percent less than a year ago and some people have said uh, the lack of a single host for the evening uh, was the problem it seems sort of driverless is what some critics have said um, and I wonder you know there's that much going on now with the uh, in ceremonies here there and everywhere and, and social media you can follow the whole thing online mm. I wonder if that had an effect what do you think yeah potentially I do think that it's better with one presenter like more consistently uh, I remember Ellen DeGeneres did it a couple of years ago and that was quite enjoyable. Mm. But that is a big, big dip. That, that is, is, isn't it? I wonder if it's part of the problem that sometimes you watch it and you think, I don't know who these people are. Mm. That's what I find. Well, of course, Parasites, yeah, sort of swept the board, didn't it? But I haven't seen it. Have either of you I seen it? I watched it the night before yesterday, actually, because I'd just got back. So I jet like I was like being wide awake at 1am. So I just decided to watch it. Um, and it was fantastic. Mm. Like really original because I think you find most films films now are either a comic book film, a remake or a historical thing or an adaptation of a book. So this is completely original and like definitely worth a watch. I'd say give it a go. And I think uh, you make a good point, Beth, in the respect that, you know, with like the Brit Awards and, and Music Awards, how often do we sit downstairs saying, right, these people have been nominated? No, not who are they? <laughs> not heard of yeah. That's where we need your youngsters to come I'll in and instruct yeah. us, isn't it? So uh, there we are. Right. Maybe maybe you could host it next year. What do you think? The Beth, Oscars. Oh, so I'm there. I'll ski there. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there we go. Now we're all sorted. Oh,